Welcome back, future medicos. This year's admission has started. So probably you might have seen my previous videos on CMC Velour and Sikkim Manipal Institute. Right now, the Kerala state registration has also started. So Kerala is the first state to start registration for medical admission in the year 2023-24. In this video, I will cover some of the details related to the Kerala state admission. Please take note that this admission is applicable both for Kerala students as well as other state candidates. So please come, let's see the details. So this is the website uh, in which you need to register for Kerala state. So you can see that this is the website of Commissioner for Entrance Examinations, Kerala. Uh, the website is cee.kerala.gov.in. So I will provide a link to this website in the description below. You can go and check. So once you come to this website, the first link, the very first link, you can see that KEAM 2023 online application. So this is where you need to register for Kerala State. So click this link. And once you click this link, it will take you to uh, the complete details related to uh, the registration. You can see the prospectors. You can download the prospectors. You can download the notification. You can look at the prerequisites for applying online, how to apply step-by-step -step procedure is given, how to pay, how to upload the documents like your photograph, uh, maybe like other supporting documents, right? How to upload. What are the normal reasons for rejection of application, right? If uh, uh, why applications get rejected so that if you know that you don't make that mistake, right? And then also there are frequently asked questions. If you forgot your application number, how do you get it back? If you forgot your password, how do you get it back, right? So it's a very detailed website. Go through one by one, don't miss anything. Understand before you make an application. And once you have gone through the notification and the prospectus, then you can come here. On the right hand side, you can see that a registration as well as candidate login. For the first time, you need to click here, register here. But once your registration is completed, then you can go through candidate login. So if you are going for the first time, click here, register here, and then it will take you here. You can see that the last date of application submission is 10th April 5 p.m. Please remember, don't wait until need completion. Don't think that I need to apply only after the NEET exam. Kerala state calls for the application very early. So please remember, you need to register before 10th April, 5 p.m. And then the last date of certificates uploading. But for me, ignore this 20th April. Complete everything by 10th April. So you don't need to worry anything further. Now in the application itself, there are five steps. You need to register first, which is basically uh, giving the details like your mobile number, your email ID, uh, very basic details. And then once you register, you need to do the application. Application is where you will provide all the details related to yourself, right? The candidate details are provided. Then you need to pay the application fee. There is an application fee. I will tell you shortly what is the application fee is. Then you need to upload the images and certificates like photograph and all the certificates you need to upload. Then finally, you can print the acknowledgement. Those are the five steps you need to follow. Then once you have read all those, once you are clear about the steps, then you click all the declarations, read the declaration and click. For example, I have downloaded, read and understood the various clauses of KEAM 2023 prospectus. So only after understanding the prospectus, you should download, right? Please keep that in mind. Don't just randomly click this, okay? You should have an email ID and mobile number. I strongly recommend to have a dedicated email ID for the entire admission window, right? So that you don't mess up with other emails. Right, you have a proper email ID, specifically maybe for admission. So all the admissions, NEET admission, sorry, NEET registration, Kerala state, if you are applying to other states, if you are applying to MCC, maybe use one email ID so that there is uh, no um, possibility of missing any communication from any of the authorities. Then uh, I have the images of passport size photograph and signature. Please look at the prospectus and ensure that you prepare this before starting filling the application. Have the soft copies of original certificates. Once again, you should have a scanned copy of the certificates, get it ready. I hereby declare, declare that I have not applied previously, right? KEAM 2023, you have not applied previously. If you have applied, 
in 2022 or 2021, that's fine. What the last statement says, you cannot apply for Kerala twice, right? You can apply only once. Don't submit duplicate applications. That's what it says. And once you select all those, then you can proceed for registration. Now, this is the first step. You can see that basic details like your name, date of birth, mobile number, email address, the password, you need to create a password, right? And then uh, what are the requirements for a password? All these is given. Go through all these. And then, right, the access code is uh, just a, a number displayed here, right? Once you complete this, you will be registered. And once registration is done, then you can use your user ID and password and then log in again to continue with the application detail, right? With that introduction, I'm going to move to the notification. Let's quickly see what are the details you should know. So you can see here, this is uh, for all the professional courses in Kerala, engineering, architecture, pharmacy, medical, medical allied courses, everything is included. So don't overlook that medical will be separate. In many states, medical will be separate, but Kerala has a single application. So if you are interested in either MBBS, BDS, or even Ayush courses, you must register now. You can take note that it is for 2023-24. Uh, and please take note that don't get confused because Kerala calls for an application earlier and it calls uh, along with the engineering entrance. Don't get confused that medical, there is a separate entrance for Kerala. No, there is no separate entrance exam. The entrance exam for medical is only NEET UG. Only NEET is the entrance exam for all the medical colleges across India. So there is no separate entrance exam for Kerala. But registration you are doing along with the KEAM. That's all. But your admission will happen only after NEET exam. NEET results are out. Then only admission will start. Okay, please understand that. Exam wise, it is only NEET, right? There is no confusion. There is no separate entrance exam. The last date, as I said, 10th April, 5 p.m. You need to complete the application form. Now, when you are applying, uh, there are three major categories. Either you can apply as a Carolite, non-Carolite category 1, NK1, or non-Carolite 2 category, uh, that is NK2, right? These are the three categories. Now, who is a Carolite? A candidate of Kerala origin, right? They are a native of Kerala. They are considered as Carolite. Other state candidates cannot apply as a Carolite, okay? So, and then uh, children of All India Service Officers, even though they are non Carolites, but if they are allotted to Kerala CADA, they will be deemed to be Carolites, right? So that is only the two categories that come under Carolite. And there are certain documents you need to produce to uh, prove that you are a Carolite. The second category is NK1, non Carolite category 1. This is mainly non Carolite candidates from other states, but they are living in Kerala or they have studied in Kerala, right? Say, for example, you have lived in Kerala for five years, then you are eligible. Or maybe you have studied in Kerala from 8th standard to 12th standard, then also you are eligible. So look at the various clauses under which you can be eligible under NK1. Now, please take note that the reservation uh, categories will be applicable only for Kerala's. Other category, right, NK1, NK2, you cannot use the reservation. Reservation is available only for Carolite candidates. Now, the third category is NK2 or non Carolite category 2. This is where predominantly other state candidates can apply. If you are from Tamil Nadu, if you are from Uttar Pradesh, if you are from Jammu and Kashmir, if you are from Karnataka, if you are from Andhra Pradesh, you can apply under NK2. Now, what is NK2? There is no requirement at all. As long as you are an yeah, Indian citizen or OCI candidate, you can apply here. There is no other requirement except, of course, you should have passed NEET. Passing NEET is mandatory. If you have passed NEET, there is no domicile. Okay, there is no requirement in terms of domicile. But what are the seats coming under here? Please take note that as a NK2 candidate, you are not eligible for government colleges, right? You are not eligible for government colleges or you are not eligible for government seats. But you are eligible for 15% of the seats available in self-financing medical colleges, okay? 15% of the seats available in self-financing private medical colleges in Kerala, you are eligible, okay? Right. NK2 candidates, of course, there is no reservation, as I said. And then you need to upload a certificate of completion of qualifying examination and you need to use an Aksher 39, right? 
or you need to upload passport issued by government of India, right? You can use either an Akshar 39 to prove your nativity or a copy of the passport can be uploaded. The application fee, if you are applying for only medical or medical allied courses, then for general candidates, the application fee is 500 rupees. If you are an SC candidate, you need to pay only 200 rupees. If you belong to ST category, then you do not need to pay anything. If you belong to anything else like OBC, then you still need to pay 500 rupees. So those are the important details available in the notification. Let's quickly go to the prospectus. I'm not going to go through the entire prospectus. Please go through the prospectus. And if you have any doubts, please ask me. But as of now, I'm not going to go through all the details in the prospectus, right? I'm, I'm just coming to uh, the colleges available for medical. You can see that government medical colleges for which only uh, the Carolites, local candidates, Carolites and NK1 candidates are eligible. There are 12 medical colleges, 12 government medical colleges available in Kerala. And then private self-financing medical colleges. You can see that um, there are many uh, private self-financing medical colleges and the seats offered are 150, 100, uh, 150, typically 100 or 150, except one college which offers 200 seats, Malabar Medical College. Totally, they have 19 self-financing private medical colleges in Kerala, offering totally 2,450 seats. This is as of today, right? Maybe at the time of admission, there could be more seats. But as of now, the uh, number of seats as per prospectus is 2,450 MBBS seats available on out of which approximately 15 percentage, which is around 368 seats will be available for All India candidates. If you are an All India candidate, uh, if you are not from Kerala, if you are from other states, then you will be competing for the 368 seats available for All India candidates. Okay. Now, a quick a detail related to the fee structure as per last year. This is last year fee structure. I do not know what will be the fee structure this year. But just to give you an idea before you apply, this is the fee structure charged by the colleges last year, right? You can see that typically the fee structure for the um, self-financing private medical colleges. One good thing about Kerala is there is no government quota, management quota. All the seats, they have the same fees. So either it is general category or NRA category. There are only two categories. The general category, 85% of the seats, the fee structure is the same. So even if you are an other state candidate, you still pay the fees paid by the local state candidate, right? So it is the same fees, which is like approximately around 7 lakh. Some colleges, it's about 7.65, 7.55. So roughly the college fees is about 7 to 8 lakhs. Roughly is around 7 to 8 lakhs. Uh, and then add to that the hostel. So probably about 1, 1 and a half lakhs. So probably we are talking about around 9 lakhs annual expenses for self-financing private medical colleges in Kerala. In fact, I have done some detailed videos on Kerala. So probably you can go and check that. If you are applying under NRA category, there are 15 percentage seats available under NRA category in private medical colleges. And the fee structure is 20 lakhs per year. Okay, this is a yearly fee structure, uh, 20 lakhs per year, plus, of course, you will have hostel. So these are the details uh, that probably you need to know right now. Uh, if you need any further details um, related to Kerala, please leave your queries in the comments below. I will try to address them as quickly as possible. Thank you. Bye-bye.